house that Brian has is pretty much a dump. Shall we see the bathroom? Yep. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. This is, oh. <laughs> No words. Hillary's got no words. That is a look at the brand new HGTV Canada series, Tough Love, with Hillary Farr helping families turn their dysfunctional, disorganized homes into dream spaces they can call their own. And here to tell us all about the brand new show, Hillary herself joins us this morning from Toronto. Hillary, good to see you. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning to you. Okay, listen, we all know you, love you from Love It or List It, but uh, tell us what, ha first of all, has the experience been like hosting your own show, and do you miss butting heads with David? <laughs> all right, well, uh, in the order that you've asked me, I, uh, I, I'm loving doing a solo show, and no, I don't miss butting heads with David <laughs> at all. <laughs> you know, we're still filming new episodes of Love It or List It, so I do get my head butt fix happening anyway with him well, um, and that's plenty <laughs> <laughs> right you got your fill all right as the title of the show suggests you're known for your tough love and you do not hold back and just there in that clip that we showed meant you were a, you when you're at a loss for words you know it's not good that's really not good <laughs> when Hillary has no words so <laughs> how do the homeowners handle that how do they handle Hillary. You know, um, <laughs> there are very many people going back probably since I was 12 who would ask the same question. I mean, I just am that person. And I don't know why I'm wired like that, but that's just the way I am. And uh, on the whole, the um, homeowners, they take it pretty well actually, um, with good humor, because I'm hoping that I'm not being tough in a nasty way. I'm just really, really, truly trying to help them. And I don't have time to beat around the bush. I just need to cut to the chase, A, because I'm wired like that, and B, I just have to get down to the job and get them to understand the message of what I'm trying to do for them. So uh, they take it pretty well. Occasionally, there's a look of, like, I guess deers in the headlights, like, wow, did she really say that to me? <laughs> yes, I did. And now we're going to move through that. Carry on. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, we know you can be tough, obviously, but tell us about uh, it getting emotional at times, because what's happening on the show is, I mean, you're not transforming just homes. I mean, you really, honestly, you're transforming people's lives, Hillary. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. That's, that's what tough love is has, um, that was the genesis of this show. I wanted to do something where the connection with the emotional needs of these homeowners was the uh, impetus to create the design. That's what the design was about. It wasn't just about making things look nice. It was about solving problems. And I found many of the moments of real connection incredibly moving for me and and therefore the show finding solutions and seeing how the reactions of these couples in some cases in some cases it was uh, a couple bringing their mother under the same roof how it had genuinely changed the dynamic of the family the people and that is about as rewarding as anything could be for me. You mentioned, I was going to ask you if there was a standout moment, but maybe that was it with the couple bringing the mother in. Well, there were two we did with the mother in, but if you're talking about the one where, yes, there's the one where the, the daughter and the mother say no two grown women should be living under the same roof. That's how it started. And my job was to bring them in under the same roof and help them make that work. And it was very moving. It was very moving. I could identify with both of them. So the mother and the daughter, yeah, as we all could. <laughs> okay, listen, since you are known for your tough love and that you don't beat around the bush as we've been talking about, we thought uh, we'd play a little game with you this morning. Hot take with Hillary. So what we're gonna do, Hillary, is we're gonna give you some of 2022's most controversial design trends and find out how you really feel about them, okay? 
Oh, God. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. First one. I don't want to upset is... anyone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you make of bold wallpaper? Oh. Love nice. it. Okay. In the right space. In the right space. Okay. Uh, not okay. there. Yeah. What, what is the right <laughs> space then, sir? <laughs> N neither of those well, instances. <laughs> Um, I, I think a powder room is a fantastic place to make a statement with bold wallpaper. It's a fun place. You generally don't have to look at it all day. Um, it's a very functional, necessary space. And you can go nuts in there with your wallpaper. Why not? Yeah. That's what I just did with my house. Uh, oh, right. there yes. you go. There one you check go. Mark from Hillary. Good. Okay, <laughs> here's the next one. Here's the next controversial trend. Loud statement couches. Let's see our examples. Let's see what we got pulled. Okay, Ooh. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's loud. I, I think that's a no from Hillary. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's an old piece of furniture that someone has obviously tried to turn into a statement piece to bring into their home. I'm all for the concept, just I'm not crazy about the particular choice of this one. Mm-hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. about you, but yeah. with each passing passing birthday, it's more about the comfortable couch rather than the loud couch. The more <laughs> comfortable I can find, the better. <laughs> okay, uh, up next, Hillary, retro colors. What do you think of this 2022 design trend? I actually hmm. like it. I do. And I think that bringing color into the home is a trend that is going to stay with us for a while. We're all spending so much time inside, and especially in our climate where we're looking at monochromatic uh, hideousness of winter. I'm not one who is good at embracing winter, I have to tell you. So I think it's nice to bring the color inside. I think you have to be careful, but I like the concept very much. Yeah. And to your point, Hillary, you could also do it subtly. You don't have to do paint. You could do it with art. Absolutely. You could do it with art or you could just do it with one piece. You know, one piece of furniture has, uh, you know, a statement color. There's a lot of different ways. It could be a lamp, a lampshade. There's different ways that you can embrace that. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Here's another trend. 3D wall art. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, here's what I'm going to say about wall art. It's subjective. It truly is subjective. I don't think there's a right or a wrong. What something that I would like to put on my wall may not be something that anyone else would put on their wall. So I'm not going to judge on that one. Okay. okay. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder there. Sure. Gotcha. All right. Finally, Absolutely. Hillary, what do you think of tin ceilings? Well, again, where? And mm -hmm. what is the style of your house? Now, the example that I'm being shown here is not just embracing the tin ceiling, but it is embracing the period in which they were um, part of decor. Um, so they have their place. And when done right, I think they're fabulous. I love mm -hmm. an interesting ceiling. I do. I think it's great. Yeah, I agree. All right. Uh, you can... I have so much more of Hillary uh, in a brand new episode of Tough Love with Hillary Farr, which airs Mondays at 8 p.m. on HGTV Canada, because we're just getting started, as we like to say here on the show. We're just scratching the surface. Hillary has so many more ideas and thoughts on her show. Hillary, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.